playing cards have been used forever for readings and also each card represents a birthday. So the deck is really special. You can use it just for readings alone. Also, each individual birthday has a meaning, but for now, I'm gonna show you how you can read playing cards. But it's cool to know that one deck is a year. The 52 cards in the deck represent the 52 weeks in the year. The four suits represent the seasons. The 12 core cards represent the 12 months. The 13 cards per suit represent the lunar cycles. The red and black colors represent the day and night. The hearts represents love, emotion, relationships. The clubs represent working, ideas, and learning. The diamonds represent money, investments, and possessions. The spades represent thoughts, thinking, and the mind. Now for seasons, the hearts are the spring, the clubs are the summertime, the diamonds are the fall time, and winter is represented by the spades. As for astrology, the hearts symbolize the water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. The clubs are represented by the fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. The diamonds are represented by earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. The spades are represented by the air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. The king of all suits, hearts, clubs, diamond, and spades are represented by the cardinal signs, Aries, Capricorn, Libra, and Cancer. The queen from any suit, hearts, clubs, diamond, and spades are represented by the fixed signs, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, and Scorpio. The jack of any suit, heart, clubs, diamond, and spades are represented by the mutable signs, Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, and Pisces. Now let's get into the individual card meanings. Ace of hearts, this means a new love or a relationship, a birth of a child desire for affection, family, maybe even home, starting of a new romance. Two of hearts, this is love, a happy partnership, strong attraction, it even means engagement, getting engaged. Three of hearts, this card signifies an affair, uncertain emotions, having two or more love interests, a social gathering, and fertility. Four of Hearts, this stands for a strong foundation, stability in love, no change happening. The Five of Hearts, it represents the body, the five senses, but it also represents jealousy, a cheater. This is the divorce card, not knowing, you know, which direction to go when it comes to emotions and love. The Six of Hearts is a card of unexpected good luck someone new being interested in you, good fortune or a good trip. The seven of hearts, it represents relationship uncertainty, unsettled emotions, unreliable friends, a troubled love life. So an unfaithful spouse and broken promises. The eight of hearts, this card represents a strong union, popularity, new opportunity, a surprise gift, uh, a party or a celebration. The nine of hearts. This is a card of wishes coming true, wish fulfillment, but it also signifies a change in relationships. It can be the card of divorce, heartbreak, or just changes in love. Ten of hearts. This card represents success, achieving your goals, emotional security, success with the public, and a party or a social gathering. The jack of hearts. This represents a close friend, a blonde man or a light haired man, an admirer, a gift, a message. It could also mean someone immature or a child, someone very young. The Queen of Hearts represents a light-haired woman who is kind, a caring person, a maternal figure, someone with really good intuition, a healer, 
or someone who's very emotional. King of Hearts is also represented by a blonde or light-haired man, an influential person, an affectionate person, a very helpful male figure. Ace of Clubs, this card represents knowledge, wealth, prosperity. It can also represent a new job opportunity. Two of Clubs, this card represents obstacles, gossip, lies, so problems in communication, hesitation, tension, conflict with another person, maybe a business partner as well, but it definitely signifies conflict or opposition from somebody. The Three of Clubs, this is a card of creativity, getting another chance, a successful partnership, even marriage, variety choices, being inspired and having inspiration around you. Four of Clubs, this card represents a betrayal, dishonesty, having to compromise. And for work, it can also mean having a good reputation when it comes to your job and public image. Five of Clubs. This is a card of new habits, exercise, meeting new people, new friends, success, good luck, and money coming in, making a lot of money, or having an idea that will make you a lot of money. Six of Clubs. This represents recognition, promotion, resolving problems, good intuition, responsibility, but it can also represent procrastination. Seven of Clubs, this is the card of negative thinking, self-doubt. In a love relationship, it could be a breakup or just a warning coming about the person you're with. It is also an omen for good news, wealth, and fame. Eight of Clubs, this card means job success, a new business idea. In love, it could be a casual relationship or having to make compromises in love. It can also mean jealousy and greed. Nine of clubs. This is the card of wealth, lucky opportunities. You have the answer. So it could also be a change in goals in your workplace, a long distance relationship. It is also the card of having a secret admirer. Ten of Clubs, this is the card of prosperity, travel, completing a project or job, a romantic trip, or feeling emotional distance from those you love. It can be the card of unexpected money as well. Jack of Clubs, this can be a reliable friend, somebody with brown hair, an admirer, business messages coming in, new beginnings. For love, it can mean a really good change in love. Queen of Clubs. This is an attractive, confident, dark-haired woman, a mature woman, somebody practical, successful, a boss, a confident person. So again, brunette or dark hair. This could also be a spiritually helpful person. King of Clubs is represented by an honest, a affectionate, dark-haired man, a generous person, somebody honest, successful, powerful and with authority and it could also be a helpful family member or a friend that you know. Ace of Diamonds, this represents new opportunities, financial rewards, receiving money, even receiving jewelry, leadership, a letter or legal document. Two of Diamonds, this signifies a love affair, a gift, a business partner, a secret, an unexpected surprise. It is also the card of people that do not approve of the relationship or business partnership that you're in. Three of diamonds, this card represents lawsuits, legal documents, animosity. In love, it could mean lack of commitment, divorce, or separation. Four of diamonds, this is the card of financial growth, good fortune, inheritance, a friendship bond, a secret being revealed to you. Five of diamonds. This is a card of a new project, a new job, a move, changes in your business, changes in your financial situation, up or down. In love, it can mean reconciliation or fixing a broken relationship. Six of diamonds. This is the card of setting 
boundaries, confusion, restrictions. In love, it means problems, separation or breakup, jealousy and possessiveness. Seven of diamonds. This card can mean gossip, slander, disagreements, negotiations, balancing of love and money, relationship troubles due to money. It is also the card of a sudden surprise like a baby or marriage or receiving a present. Eight of diamonds represents new opportunities, travel, money coming in, but also going out. So ups and downs with money. If it's other diamond cards or spades around it, then it would signal financial difficulties. Nine of diamonds. This is the card of waiting. A lot of money going out. Changes of finances for the better. In love, it means being emotionally detached, but also it means there's a lot of physical attraction. Ten of diamonds. This is the card of wealth and prosperity. Powerful people around you. Success after a period of difficulty, a new venture that will bring in money. Jack of diamonds. This could signify a relative that's unreliable, dishonest, somebody with light blonde hair, unfaithful employee, a new job or money venture, unexpected changes, and being impulsive. Queen of Diamonds represents a light-haired woman, somebody who's into status, luxury, a player or a big spender, a charmer, very talkative in love. It could be a third party trying to come in. This can also be somebody who's a flirt and a big gossiper. King of Diamonds, this represents a blonde or light-haired man, somebody stubborn, wealthy, This could also mean a job opportunity, somebody that's ambitious. In love, this can signify a very accomplished partner or relationship security. Ace of spades, this card represents changes, obsession, things ending and beginning, worry, conflict. In love, it can mean a decision has to be made, reconciliation or change in love. Two of spades means conflict, separation, betrayal. There's a choice to be made, a test. It can mean cheating, fraud, and love, and money. Three of spades. This is an artistic person, somebody with self-doubt, misunderstandings, cheating, heartbreak. Third party, somebody breaking a union. Four of spades, career reward, long-standing problem, recovery, loneliness and love and needs that aren't getting met. This can also signify broken promises as well. Five of spades. It is the card of accidents, risk, surgery, depression, somebody being sneaky. It can signify divorce, separation, or cutting someone out of your life. Six of spades means endings and beginnings. Moving to a new place, a permanent ending of a relationship, couple being untruthful with each other. It also signifies making small improvements over time. Seven of spades. This can mean loss, troubles, addiction, lawsuits, legal documents, deceit, delusion, a loss of a friendship. Eight of spades, this can mean illness, restriction, obligation, school exams, medical exams, emotional upsets, unrequited love. It can mean canceled plans or people that also let you down. Nine of spades can also be the card of accidents, injury, endings, sadness, depression, disappointment, heartbreak, or karmic connections and relationships. Ten of spades, this is the card of secrets, termination, being overwhelmed, fears and blockages, also the card of ending something, endings. Jack of spades will also be represented by a dark-haired person, somebody who's foreign, a bully, somebody toxic, messages of bad news, depression, or it could be trouble with children. Queen of spades is also represented by a dark-haired woman. It's a bossy woman, an angry person, somebody who's skillful and intelligent, a specialist, an authority figure. This can also represent an emotionally controlling or deceptive, lonely woman. 
King of Spades represents a dark-haired man, a very powerful older man, a deceptive, possessive man, a self-absorbed man, relationship problems, somebody who's divorced or widowed, or a separated man. It could also be a rival. The Joker would be represented by the number zero. In tarot, this would be the card of the fool. This represents beginnings and endings, immaturity, adventure, surprise, and unexpected events and news. The Joker also represents secrets and things hidden from you. You can use the red Joker to signify beginnings and daytime, and the black Joker as endings or nighttime. You can also use the red Joker as the seeker's questions or your questions and the situation at hand, and the black Joker as the seeker's emotions or your emotions. I hope you found this helpful. Hit the like button so others can find it. Like and subscribe for more.